for those who are in mosquito control, specifically for malaria, used to things that happen indoors, bed nets, um, indoor residual spraying. A big part of what uh, mosquitoes do is not just being indoors. Mosquitoes spend most of the life cycle outside before they get into the house. So what we have been missing, particularly in Africa, is that part of the mosquito life cycle. When we talk about outdoor mosquito management, it's not to forget that indoors, but it's to say what else can be done outside before the mosquito actually comes and attacks you inside. It's still important to manage them outside because that's where they're breeding anyway and living. And Correct. now we also know that with the, with the spread of Anopheles stevensi coming into the African continent, we know that they're outdoor biters, day biters, urban dwellers. So there feels like there's that much more of urgency around the importance of you know outdoor and integrated approach. The United States and parts of the Caribbean eliminated malaria, I believe it was 1950-51 using environmental management and integrated vector management. The tools are there. There has been an evolution of thinking of moving from a one-size-fits-all approach to recognizing that you really need to have tailor-made, locally-driven strategies. It's not uh, rocket science. You don't have to have a PhD to be able to control a mosquito. Wherever those mosquitoes are, there are people who are there. Uh, who, who can do something. As soon as you know this puddle of water is what, what is causing me a problem, uh, you just control what you see. The challenge with Nigeria is that the entire country is endemic for malaria. Everybody in Nigeria is at risk of the infection. And that is why we are now doing a rethinking to begin to look at interventions we can deploy outside the living apartments. If we are able to reduce significantly the population of the vectors, definitely we have less mosquitoes coming into our living apartments. I've been chasing mosquitoes around the world for roughly 40 years. And if you ever get the opportunity to witness the direct effect of a mosquito-borne disease like malaria on a young child, it leaves a very long-lasting impression. And, and here I am, 40 years later, it's still doing and still arguing for that baby that died of malaria. I've had several episodes of malaria uh, in my childhood. I'm from Burundi, uh, endemic country for malaria. I've always finished my last exam uh, almost every year sick. Um, so being tired, mosquitoes around. The, the passion is around what I know uh, has happened uh, to people that I know, uh, colleagues that have lost children to malaria. It's, it's a very personal fight.